Good evening. Liz McKean was one of the most resourceful and determined journalists I ever met. As Newsnight's Northern Ireland correspondent, she was fearless in challenging the paramilitary hard men. The IRA may not have authorised his murder and Robert's sisters acknowledged that. She made her name though with investigations. She picked difficult subjects and was always on the side of victims who had been ignored, disbelieved or worse. Basically, how are you at the moment and all how's right. everything going? Everything's going all right. It was only 15 years ago that homosexuality was taken off the official list of mental illnesses. But prejudices are ingrained and an independent survey last year found that nearly half of all Russians still believe that gay people should be given medical or psychological treatment. Action! She was, though, above all, a wonderfully fun woman, the perfect companion for a decompression drink once the day's filming was finished. Andy, film the feet. Occasionally, her humour found its way onto the screen. Here she is, puncturing the absurd conventions of television news. And what's this got to do with the wider debate about trust? I was asking that question to thin air. David's long gone. Liz also loved being outdoors, sailing and hiking. Her final tweet just a week before her death was a picture from the top of Snowdon. Liz leaves behind her wife and their two children. Congratulations on taking this award. Obviously a heartfelt moment. Um, how does it feel to accept this on behalf? I'm just enormously proud of Liz. I never expected to be in this position, but it's an amazing tribute to her life that here we are celebrating that in 52 years and a much shorter span in terms of her career, she contributed in the way she did and has left an incredible living legacy. It's a very obvious in the room, you could see the people's emotions and uh, everything that's been achieved and it's obviously what these awards are about. So how much do you think this is important for today's media to have diversity awards just like this? I think it's immensely important. I think in a way as Liz's family, we rather took for granted just how good she was at representing those causes that needed attention. Perhaps because it was so integrated into her being, she was a journalist through and through, but her specialty was to dig and dig. She was an investigative journalist and that meant she was naturally drawn to the sort of stories that required incredible courage and probity to ensure that they were gonna to be told. An award like this, really highlights those values. And it's people like Liz that actually we need to look up to and we need to do more of and hopefully awards like this and celebrations like this will give people the courage to do more of what she did. Totally, because although I believe that Liz to an extent was born absolutely to do what she did, there is no question about it that her platform can inspire a whole new generation to come. And that, as I say, is a living legacy. But all of us, especially in terms of the kind of stories she covered, people's voice, minority people, people who would never otherwise have had their story told in the world, had that opportunity. That is a gift that has no language, but it's called voracious journalism. And an award like this really highlights that. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you.